Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, this is going to be weekend energy, collective. Okay, collective read. And happy Good Friday for those who celebrate. And happy Easter. It's my favorite holiday. It's the bestest. It's the bestest. All right. <clears throat> so, hold up a minute. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay. We have judgment reversed. It's it's almost like an energy like someone doesn't want to make a judgment call. So that's that's like ouch, you know? Um like someone doesn't want to show their face. So be careful there. Okay. Ten of Wands. All right. So <sighs> this is someone who's laying the weight down, though. This is somebody who's like, okay, enough burdens, enough baggage. All right. So that's positive. You have Temperance Upright, Knight of Swords Reversed. Knight of Swords Reversed, ugh, not good, okay. Um, I feel like it's, it, I feel like it might be good in this scenario though. But it is someone kind of keeping their mouth shut. You know, not showing their face, keeping their mouth shut. They are laying the weight down, though. Burdens, baggage, however, like, you want to look at it. You know what I mean? Um, whatever's, like, bugging them, they're just like, enough's enough. And, and temperance is, you know, it's balance, it's healing. To be honest with you, I think in this case, it feels like um, balance more than healing. So, what is going on with judgment? Four of Pentacles. Somebody's letting go. So that's great. Okay. Um, it's, but it's like someone's not telling you that they're letting go. They're laying the weight down, the burden. So the tough thing is, is like they must have made a judgment call. You had to have made a judgment call to let something go, lay the weight down. But it, it's like someone's not talking about it. You know, they're trying to balance things their way. Keeping their mouth shut, though. The only thing I worry about that is that's someone who's usually blunt, straight to the point, wants answers. Okay. So it's, in a way, I kind of feel like it might be avoiding a situation. But it could be a good thing. We'll have to see when we get to it. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. So for those who are lay, laying the weight down and letting go, you know, like, um, like, psh, high five, for real. That's a good feeling. It's a tough feeling, but it's, it's a good thing, okay? So looks like the Four of Wands is reversed with the staff, okay? So this is letting go of a commitment, a foundation, a faulty foundation. It's reversed, right? It's like false sense of security is what I'm picking up on here. Because when this is upright, it's solid. It's pure. When it's reversed, it's, you know, it's unstable. 
there's no security. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this is someone, I don't think that's the case. I think this is talking about hope, following your path, being guided. So I think the person that's letting go of a situation, dropping the burden, the baggins, the baggins, the baggage is letting go of a unstable situation and for somebody to get their stability back, which requires balance, right? So that's a good thing. So there's an energy here, whoever's making this judgment call, but not showing their face still has hope for something. Somebody wants to balance the scales in a situation, which is good. Okay. Um, with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck here, it is also reversed, letting go. But there could be somebody not accepting. You could have been dealing with somebody who was kind of like in and out. You know, kind of lack of confidence. It's like, it's like strength reverse, lack of confidence, weakness, no courage, fear, you know. Um, but with the hangman next to it, it's in, with the knight of wands, it's in between the knight of wands and the hangman. So it's almost like this person created the situation themselves anyway, you know, but now looking at something differently, walking away from a situation they could be going after the four of cups because the four of cups reversed is better than the four of cups upright. That's somebody who's straight up missed an opportunity. But they missed an opportunity because it looks like they were hanging on to something. And it looks like money. Ten of pence, eight of pence, two of cups reversed, five of wands, conflict, competition, five of pence. Yeah, so like I don't know what was quite going on. Like, somebody could have been in a situation Um for stability reasons like what you know what I mean this is like not having the courage to walk away so that's telling me somebody made it sound like everything was great it was solid it was stable it was reliable it was security and it, it's like it wasn't it wasn't you know it was a false foundation so somebody could be seeing something now tell me about temperance please So somebody was definitely holding on to something. They're letting it go, which is fantastic. They do have hope to balance the scales with some type of situation. Remember, though, this person's not showing their face, though. So I wouldn't have any high expectations. All right, you got the king of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but this is somebody who wants balance. Um, it almost looks like... This person's, you know, it's the king of wands. I don't know if you can see this person kind of looks angry. And he's looking at all this. Like, what was I thinking? Ten of cups reverse. Like, I don't, somebody thought, you know, the grass was greener on the other side. And with the four of cups reverse, that means it was obviously clearly an opportunity missed. You know, so I'm not really sure everyone's scenario is going to be different. But now this is somebody like... You know, somebody gave attention elsewhere. Somebody tried to make something work elsewhere. And it was because of their own weakness, you know. Um, they held on. They they thought that was their security. And it, and it wasn't. You know, it didn't, it didn't work. So it looks like someone chose somebody over somebody else. I don't see regret or anything like that, you know. Um... But it almost looks like there was some type of lesson learned or somebody's picking up on something because they are letting go of whatever they were holding on to. And it was a false foundation. It was faulty. It was unstable. But someone thought it was this, that somebody thought that's where their security lied. So I don't know what's really going on here because this energy looks angry. But almost like. Not really saying anything here too. See what I said? Like this could be not so great, but I feel like it's it's okay. Like it might be the right thing to do here. So 
And again, the death of a verse, this was somebody who was not accepting something or it's whomever you're dealing with or they're dealing with. Again, the death and world, it's a finality, like it's over. You were holding on to something that was false and somebody doesn't want to accept it. So it might be tough for some of you guys. But again, it's, it's weekend energy. It looks like you're doing the right thing. It looks like you have hope. But, you know, you're trying to balance the scales, do the right thing. See, something's going to be, something's going to be exposed. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. I don't know if it would be exposed this weekend, but it's definitely coming in. Two of Swords reversed. Okay. So Two of Swords reversed is good. This is somebody who made a decision. So it doesn't sound great. It doesn't look great. But it is actually extremely positive for whom, for the collective, for whoever is letting go or something because it was false. It, it, it just it wasn't what you thought it was or it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. You know, um, and again, there's still something going on because this person still has hope for a completely different situation. They're just not showing their face. They're trying to figure out how to, you know, gain some balance and, and figure out, you know, what happened, what went wrong. It does look like, you know, lesson, there was a lesson here that was learned. So somebody is deciding to move forward with or without with, without, towards, you know what I mean? So it is a good thing, guys. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And happy, happy Easter. Happy Easter. I feel like, hmm, because it's so like, some of you might be able to relate to this to T, but it's, it's, it's kind of like, okay, here you go. Here's some info. So let's see what this person, let's see what they're hoping for real quick. Someone's hoping something is is not over in the four cups reverse. Yeah. See, somebody wants a second chance in the tower. It's, it's like they're nervous. They want something back. Yeah. Not confused anymore. Feeling defeated. They could have been dealing with a situation that was very manipulative with the five of swords and the empress reversed. It, this is an energy that doesn't give. Somebody could clearly like coming out of the illusion of a faulty foundation coming out of the illusion that somebody was manipulative, you know. Um, this is almost like somebody not following their intuition, not following that gut feeling. So again, it could be somebody who's kicking themselves in the ass for the way something went down. That You know, there was a missed opportunity. Yeah, you got the moon and the queen of pence. So there's a feminine here that's unaware, okay, that this energy is leaving, which is, is not good. It's, it's, it's not sneaky, but it's, it's not good either, you know. <sighs> you know, it, it, it is what it is with the king of pence, queen of pence. There's like no effort anymore. So I don't know if this person stopped giving Stop juggling, seeing something differently, Queen of Swords, Death, Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody, some, it, you just, you had two people holding on to something um, for all the wrong reasons. But this energy that's leaving, that's not showing their face, that let go, drop the baggage, is now realizing it was a faulty foundation, is still keeping it from this energy. Whether it's you or them, there was obviously other people in, in the picture because somebody feels like they missed an opportunity elsewhere. So 
there's a reason that why they're still keeping it from this energy. I couldn't tell you what it is. It's going to be different for everybody. Could be a good thing. Might not be a good thing. It depends. Let's see what, what's next for this Queen of Pents. It'll give us a little bit of an idea. Something flipped. <clears throat> Page of Swords. Just gonna have to think about something. It's not really telling us much and that might be just the way it is because the moon is there. Right? The Hierophant. She's just going to have to watch something go down. Really think about what's happening around her. Queen of Swords. So she could be guarded, icy. She might be seeing her own clarity, but not in a way. Yeah, see, she could be letting go of something too. The lovers reversed, making decisions, five of cups, you know, sad, regret. She's not... It's, it's more regret on how she went about something. It's not really sorrow. So if you're dealing with somebody, this kind of is victim energy or it's energy of, um, you know, there was, it's, it's not really a loss to her, you know, which sounds shitty. Yeah, she didn't have the weak she didn't have the strength either to let something go. She still doesn't want to comprehend that something's over. Some type of relationship. But he's he's also keeping it from her or keeping it from you. So it, it's not it's not great. I, I don't know why it's going down that way. It, it's it's <laughs> it is not good. You know, it it is great for the one person who's laying the baggage down, the burdens, and is releasing because it was a faulty foundation. And and that's great. And they're hopeful to move forward and balance out some type of scales with a situation that they blatantly ignored. You could have been dealing with somebody who played, you know, a few people with the Knight of Swords that's in and out, in and out. Nine of Wands, I mean. You know what I'm saying? So... It's like that energy is keeping it from her. Um, but I think she's realizing it. So I don't know why it's so hush-hush. It doesn't feel secretive. But this is somebody who's like had, you know, somebody that made a choice to move forward and let this go. So they're either going to go on their own journey or they're going to go back towards the opportunity that they blatantly ignored because of an energy that, you know, they both manipulated the situation. They both didn't want to let go. They both built a, a false foundation. Like, you know, it just, it is what it is. So... I'm going to get overall energy for the weekend. And then we're going to wrap this up. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants new love. Somebody wants to be loved. Somebody wants security. Okay. And that's why I said it's it's not with this energy. It's, that was a false sense of security. So I don't know if these people were previously together. Married, not married. Doesn't matter. It was, you know, it just... I don't know, someone must have thought the grass was greener on the other side and just kept giving opportunity after opportunity, you know, played games, manipulated situations in and out. Somebody who lied, didn't speak the truth. Somebody that blatantly ignored love, ignored something pure versus something faulty. But someone's security lied there, but it was, it was an illusion. It wasn't, it was illusion. It wasn't what they thought it was. 
you know, it was illusionary energy, somebody that thought it could be what they wanted, but clearly is not. So overall energy is love. It is security. There is something pure out there. There is something true. There is something stable. You know, there is an opportunity to possibly grow old with an energy here. Okay. So I hope you have a fantastic holiday weekend and I, you know, again, happy, happy Easter and congratulations to the collective that is letting go of something that literally dragged you down. It's tough, but you're making the right decision, whether this is self-love or you're going back and, and having that hope that that opportunity that you lost will still be there and you can balance the scales and, and try to mend a situation because clearly you're, you know, there's love, you're in love and you could be keeping it hidden from everybody involved, but looks like it's, it's going to come out because this is a card of second chances, forgiveness, you know, so somebody wants that somewhere. So happy Easter, you know, worry about for those who are single, yada, yada. There could be a situation at a, a family gathering, you know, um, it, it's how you can relate to this. A lot of you could be releasing and, and just, you know, seeking something more positive, more solid, more reliable. You know, they, the thing is they're what they thought that false foundation was that security, it, the security was with somebody else, you know, a true love. That's where the security was. So I wish you all the best. I love you. I love you. I love you. When I wish upon a star. Do, 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 do. All right, y'all. Oh, look at that. It timed me out. I love you. Have a fantastic weekend.